Hey guys, welcome back. So about to check out another episode of Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works. This is episode 19 of season 2, Idealisms and the Answer. So we just watched episode 18, the beginning of the circle, where we had a bit of a revelation about who potentially Archer is. We had a bit of a chat with Tosaka who were kind of like gave us a massive information dump and what I got out of that episode and I could be completely wrong but I'm thinking that Archer is Shiru's future self they've got the same kind of powers and um well that's all I've got but they tell us that the the servants can be summoned from any time period past present and or future so that's what I'm thinking I could be wrong like I said but it's a fun theory to think about because we also have the gem which has been there's two of them so one of them could possibly have come with Archer from the time period that he was pulled from, i.e. the future. So I'm hoping that this title, like saying it's the answer, actually gives me the answer because I'm dying to know and it's confusing the hell out of me. Like, it's a great show and it's beautifully realized and the animation is spectacular, but while you're, you're reading the subtitles and, and trying to pay attention to the action on screen and also being aware that you're recording a reaction, it can be a lot to process in one sitting so it's definitely something that has got rewatchability and that was one of the questions I posed in that previous reaction is should I should I dive into the blu-ray and rewatch it again there because I know there's extra scenes as well I, I reckon it'll look pretty good in my collection I've got a lot of stuff to watch though so without further ado let's just dive right on into the episode and as you know by now it is a timer based reaction three two one go all right tell me stuff Straight away into the um the gorgeous animation. What is happening here? Wait, okay. What? So this episode's gonna start and it's gonna like say two two days earlier or something. You know, five hours earlier or one year earlier. Because Shiri was looking pretty fucked up right there. And he's going to do something. I still think he's going to turn into Archer and that would be like super cool. be very interesting. But how do you explain... Okay, Dean, if this is your theory, how do you explain the two different looks? I mean, we all, all age. I look different to how I looked when I was younger. I didn't have grey hair then. I've got grey hair now. But my face is essentially the same. There's something happening. Maybe they possess, they possess different bodies and stuff? Of course, because Berserker didn't look like... Or Hercules or Heracles, I'm sorry, didn't look like Berserker. So potentially, yeah, it's a spirit. So, I don't know. I don't know, man. I have no clue. <laughs> I'm just guessing hardcore. But I like my theory, though. It's very awesome. The beginning of the circle. So Rin and Archer, their whole life is a circle, just going round and round. Hmm. Idealism's end. Episode 19. Or oh, 18. So it's, it's different. It's 18 according to me. Okay, they're meeting at Alicia Ville's residence. That was that was a hard episode to watch. Yeah, well, he's going to get murdered. You don't rush into that. No, see, right? Okay. 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 So 
So it's not sure it could be a distant relation. Yay, that's something, something to look forward to. Let's be enemies later. Wait, what if um, Archer is Tosaka and Shiru's son? Is related in some way. Who are you? Because I want to know. Cool. Wait, man, oi. No, 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 no. What a jerkhead. Man, oi. Yep, good. Oh, <laughs> it's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> and that's okay. Nani?
King. He's freaking shiri, man. So he needs to end it before it begins. Wow. So against the rules.
Tan, tan, tan. You crappy priest. There's a lot of revelations in this episode. Wow. <laughs> Wow, okay. Lose her freshness. Uh huh. I'm so happy I was right. He's in a predicament. Nani.
Oh shit. He's got a lot. Oh, what? Shit, shit, shit. What the hell? Yeah. Far out. I'm about to fight myself. I knew it. I was so right. Damn. Yeah, granted, she told us in the last episode, but um, it was very convoluted and I wasn't sure. And it's going to end now, isn't it? Of course. Of course. <laughs> Shit, no. Oh my god. Wow. So, um... Archer is Shiru. His ideals... Not quite what he thought they would be. The never-ending cycle of death. Okay, the cycle begins. Yes, got it. Wow, okay. This is amazing. Lancer, what the hell? <laughs> Wow, um, we're coming up to a f only a few episodes left, so obviously, yeah, they're, they're killing everybody off, but uh, we're in a bit of trouble now with the priest coming down, and, and he seems to be like the evil mastermind of the whole thing right now. Who's left? Gilgamesh, Archer, and Saber. Yeah? Uh, I don't feel like Archer's going to make it to the end of the season, well, hell, nobody's probably going to make it to the end of the season. But um, what a what a what a revelation! So I've, I've, I mentioned that Archer doesn't look anything like Shiru. Oh, well, of course not. The versions of themselves turning up as the servants is is not their true identity. I mean, we saw that with the flashback for Saber on the battlefield, and she should not have become king. King is a male, queen is a female. So she was a male. So their appearance isn't necessarily faithful to who they were in life. Unlimited Blade Works. So I'm thinking in the next episode there's going to be a massive fight between Shiru and Archer and he's going to start that journey to his identity as, as Archer. That was cool. What a, a massive, what a massive revelation. Um, it's a lot, though. You really do need to concentrate. And I do, to be honest, have a bit of a headache today, so um, I'm not 100% on my game. But I've only got today off, and I've got to go to work tomorrow, and I've got a lot of reactions to do. We are getting the NBN, the, the National Broadband Network, uh, put into our house this week, this Friday, a few days away. So we are going to get new, more powerful internet. I hope. But there there will be a chance that the internet might be out for a day or two while that gets sorted out. So I've got to do what I can today. So I've taken a couple of pills and hopefully the headache will abate. I'm hoping the renovations upstairs don't go too long. But um, I'm really having a great time just sitting here watching anime. 
I'm, I will have lunch now and hopefully feel a little bit better for my afternoon jaunt into the the world of reactions. But yeah, face day night, man. That was so cool. I'm really curious to see what happens next though. Like, where is the story going to go? I mean, the whole idea that you can summon a servant from the future and have it be a future version of yourself. That's amazing. That That is that's very, very cool. I like it. So I definitely think I might leap online and pre-order Fate Stay Night today. And yeah, guys, and the, the request has come up often to watch Fate Zero. So I, I promise you, I will watch Fate Zero down the track. Maybe not right away, depending how it go for time and my other reactions, but it's definitely on my radar because such a big, rich, deep world. I want to learn more about it and have a bit more clarity about what I'm watching. I'm definitely going to be re-watching this one as well because it's just so damn pretty. Damn gorgeous. I love it. Anyway, guys, catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.